All right, Jesse on fire. Welcome back to the channel. Now look at this smirk. So I got some new information on the on the Joe Schilling like the Joe Schilling situation. First of all, Joe Schilling is vindicated, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, not that he like you know, not that he wasn't vindicated before, but like he's like vindicated. This dude earned it. Like he, first of all, like not just that the story that Joe Schilling told was true, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. But also like this guy's a problem. This guy he knocked out, whose name is Balboa. He's a problem child. Right? Like this guy's been a problem at this restaurant a bunch of times. But there's one detail, if more than one detail, but there's so much to go through here because there's a lot of updates. This guy's pressing charges against Joe Schilling now, apparently. Um, but man, I'm just gonna go through it and I'm gonna try not to laugh my way through it because this is like, this is too good, dude. So anyway, if you like the content, subscribe and ring the bell, tell your friends. So where does this start? Okay, so we find out that this guy's pressing charges against Joe Schilling, right? And the way that this all went down, was Joe Schilling has been has been va validated that his story is true, right? So like, so basically, what he said was that this guy was being an obnoxious, loud prick. That he dropped an end bomb to one of the waiters, and then when uh, when Joe was coming back, the guy had oh, and sorry, this guy had been like rapping at Joe Schilling, right? Like, so he's like he's like rapping these songs and he's pointing at Joe Schilling. Again, guys like him, I I I have seen a lot of people like that where it's like some kind of like short circuit in their brain where they literally look at the guy. It's like they, they, they're, they're a magnet for getting beat up. I, I'm, I actually, like, I'm not even joking. And, and I guarantee a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. Like like the really, really blacked out guy. And the, re the only reason they don't get beat up every single night is because sometimes people take pity on them, right? Like they're all, they're all fuck, Dave, fuck you. And they're sticking their finger in the chest of like your toughest buddy. And you're like, Dude, and you're like, don't do it, dude. Don't do it. They're all, no, don't fucking tell him not to do it. Don't fucking tell him not to do it. Come on, what's up? What's up? And you're like, don't, dude. Don't. Because it's literally like the equivalent. I mean, there's just like. Anyway, and the guy, the guy's such a joke that you just, that's the only thing saving him. The only thing between him and Pancake is, you know, rational people being like, this guy is a fucking joke, don't do it. So apparently this guy is one of those, cause he's, you know, he's rapping at Joe Schilling. Who would be, who would look at Joe Schilling and be like, this is the guy who I'm gonna fuck with. The only kind of person in the world who would look at Joe Schilling and be like, I'm gonna fuck with this dude. Are the, are the, are those guys, the magnets. Like the, the, I'm gonna get beat up tonight. Fuck you, bro. I'm gonna take this and throw it, and they try to throw something at you, and they fall over, and you're and you're sitting there. The only reason you're even engaging is you're just laughing. But and you know they can't they can't like, oh man, this is just too good. Anyway, so he picks Joe Schilling, right? So the the fucking magnet for getting beat up picks fucking Joe Schilling to fuck with, right? So he's been rapping at him, whatever. I'm sure Joe Schilling put up with it for quite a while, and then when you know Joe Schilling goes by, the guy says something to Joe Schilling, and then he flexes on him, which, I mean. He did do that in the video, right? Like he went like this. Here's the thing. So I said in my last video, I bet you Joe Schilling was filming that because he knew he was gonna blitzkrieg the guy. I'm gonna stand by that, actually. I'm gonna stand by that, right? Because why was the film on? But apparently this guy earned it, dude. So we're gonna get to that in a second though. So Joe Schilling knocks the guy out like everybody saw. Uh, then this guy, the next day, he calls the police and he wants to file, he wants a report filed on record because he's gonna sue the restaurant. Okay, he, that's his plan. He's gonna sue the fucking restaurant. So he wants a he wants it on record. This is the part that I literally, when I read it, almost fucking cried laughing. Okay, so when the police ask him to, to describe the assailant, he says, "Guess six five two seventy. He said that the dude who knocked him out was six five two seventy. Okay, uh, Joe Schilling is not two fucking seventy. Okay, like he's scary as fuck, and an idiot like him should know that's probably a fighter." But 65270, that's fucking Francis Ngannou. Francis Ngannou hit that guy, his, his head would fly off of his neck, okay? So that's the story. He says the guy's 65270. So they go to the restaurant and they go and they validate that, you know, what happened in the restaurant's like, dude, that this guy, he's a pro, he's, he's a regular. He's here all the time. He's a fucking problem all the time. He's always a fucking problem. He's a huge hassle. He's insulting people here. He's mean to the bus boys. He's insulting some guy's wife. He's a piece of shit. And you know, the, they're, they're all writing this all down because in their mind, this is like, okay, well, we'll take this, you know, take this down in case this guy ends up suing this guy. This is just the, the, the record, right? So then Joe Schilling posted the fucking video on Instagram, which like I said, I would have said, hey, don't do it, dude. It's good, you know, you knocked him out, but like, don't do it, dude. Don't fucking do it, don't do it. But he posted on Instagram. So when the guy, this dude, Balboa, finds out that it's Joe Schilling, he's a professional fighter, he goes, never mind, 
I want to sue that guy. Okay, so now he's suing fucking Joe Schilling. And the only reason is because Joe Schilling put the shit on Instagram, right? So look, like it, apparently this guy really earned it. So I, I have no, like the fucking magnets. I have no sympathy for magnets, dude. None. I, I mean, I do believe there's something like wrong with their brain. Fuck you, bro. Don't fucking, don't fucking tell him to not hit, hit me, hit me, hit me. You're like, what is wrong with you, bro? Like, what are you doing? F well, you fucking want it. They can't even stand up, dude. And I mean, serious, like everybody knows, everybody has seen that, right? And then every once in a while, they press the wrong guy who's a, you know, and they get lit up and then like, and they're never seriously injured. That's the other thing. They're like, uh, they're like fucking Gumbies, you know, like you, and then they go down and then they come up and they're like, what the fuck happened? And like, they're, they're, they're no more impaired than they were right before. Like they've already like, their brain is swimming in vodka, right? So like, they're already, and then they, you know, and then they wake up, they're all, where's that fucking guy go? Well, you don't want, you, you fucking pussy as you want it, dude. And fucking put, dude, he knocked you unconscious, bro. Okay. He's, he, he, you are unconscious. I don't go back over there. Like, don't do it. And if he can't find the guy that knocked him out, he'll just find someone else. He's all, give me a ride home. Hey, give me a fucking ride home. And you're like, I don't know you. Give me a fuck, give me your fucking keys. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. And you're like, you know. Like, I actually can remember times in my life where I've seen a dude like that get knocked out, right? And then they stand up and they'll approach. As a matter of fact, this, I'm telling a real story. And they approach my friends, okay? Like, <laughs> and they're doing that shit. I'm like, dude, we just saw you get your ass whipped. What the fuck? Like, and I, that's what I always call Magnus. It's like, dude, they're they're begging for it. Like, they're they're. I'm like, when I say they're begging for it, I'm not, I don't mean like a guy who's like is like. I'm like, they're actually begging for it. Like, fucking hit me, dude. Fucking hit me. You're a bitch. So that's apparently what this guy was, right? He was a magnet. So, <laughs> oh, so good. So now he's suing Joe Schilling. Uh, because Joe Schilling put the shit on Instagram, but uh, but yeah, the the managers they were like, it's that guy's fault. All the people at the restaurant are on Joe Schilling's side, right? All of them are on that guy they, because that guy's such a fucking pain in the ass that uh, that they're on that guy's side. But the guy's uh, attorney put out a statement which basically says the guy's a professional fighter. You know, he hit him as hard as he could. He's lucky to be alive. We're suing him. Blah 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 blah. So, you know, they're definitely gonna sue him. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't think he's gonna win anymore. I actually don't think he's going to win now because all the managers and all of them are all saying, no, that guy started it. And in the video, he does lunge at Joe, dude. He does. I do, I, I mean, listen, you know, don't use this as evidence in your case, guy, because what the fuck do I know? I'm just some asshole on YouTube. But, but I still believe that Joe Schilling, he had his buddies filming and that he, when the guy, because he just knew the guy was gonna do that because the guy's a fucking magnet. He, you already know, you already know. He already knew that the guy was going to be like, fuck you, bro. And then, so that's why he hit him instantaneously, right? Instantaneously. But, uh, yeah, so I, I, I think that we, when you get the video of the guy lunging at Joe, because when you slow it down, the guy definitely lunged at Joe. Joe just, he, his counter was so fast that you know he was waiting for it, dude. Man, that's funny, dude. That is so funny. The guy's 6'5", the guy, I don't know, man, he's like 6'5", 270, dude. And they said his face is all fucked up, too. <laughs> Man, 65270, the magnet, dude. Like, that's... So now, you, like, this is the first time I've ever gotten to see the other side of the magnet. Like, what? how does how do these guys experience this? You know, like, in their mind, obviously, they don't see themselves the way they are because no one... I mean, like, no one would voluntarily, you know, volunteer for an ass whipping, although... Maybe they do. I, like, I don't know what's going on in their brain. But to see on the other side that when they wake up, they're all, damn, that fucking guy that hit me was, you know, and their friends are like, what happened? You're like, this fucking guy was 300 pounds. <laughs> and every time it's just some regular fucking dude. Not that Joe Schilling's regular. But you, dude, f fucking guy was 300 pounds, man. I don't know. Well, what happened? I don't know. I was just chilling, man. I was just chilling. I was just chilling. This fucking 300 pound dude knocked me out. You weren't chilling, dude. You were fucking begging for it, you magnet. So uh, maybe booze is not a good thing for you. Like if you always wake up, like 
Once every three times that you drink, you, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. If anyone knew who that was, then you know what kind of shit I listen to. I dare you, say something about it. Say something. Fuck you, dude. Fucking say something about what I was listening to. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. So fuck you. Anyway, uh, that's what I got. So subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. God, you know, sometimes I know I've got a winner on my hands. It's a fucking winner, dude. This is a winner. And if you don't think so, fuck you, dude.